Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 14 of Thrift Trade or Shop. So I went to GameStop three times in this episode and two of those three times I did not record. So the first of those two times out of the three, I guess you could say, it's because I went to the flea market and once I was done there, I went to GameStop and the battery was pretty much dead on my camera. So I didn't record that, but I had my fanny pack ready. And another one of those two out of three times, I had charged my camera, I had it all ready to go and I turned it on and the same thing that happened last time that I went to the flea market, I told you guys, I turned it on. It it shut off. I took the battery out to see if that would help and put it back in but the battery was completely dead. So I did come prepared but the camera kind of died on me and that kind of sucked. But I still got you know some minutes in there for you. I'm trying not to make this super long but this video is probably going to be about 30 minutes maybe a little longer maybe a little shorter honestly i picked up a lot of stuff guys i also went to goodwill father joe villages and targets and tj maxx and ross <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's that's it. But I got a lot of games from GameStop from trading in. I also have a little clip here showing you guys that they had 50% extra. Uh, they had a deal going on. Uh, as you guys saw there, it said 2 for 20. But they also had a 4 for 20 sale or 4 for 17 if you guys are elite members. I just wanted to show you this scarf. I, it was on clearance, but everything on clearance is just like it's not real really on clearance it's still pretty pricey but i did like the scarf not like i'm gonna wear it in california right but uh, i ended up picking up that hat one of those two hats that you guys saw back there because i think gamestop had a special going on the hat was like five dollars i believe but i just like all the collectibles that i see around here well not all of them but mostly all of them like all the light ones and rick and morty stuff and the sonic and mario stuff i i just want everything in, at gamestop when i go there i bought days gone as well but i played it it took me two weeks to play it and pass it i got all the nero recordings and everything uh, i didn't 100 percent it but i beat it to the point like i passed all the hordes as well i just was grinding the hordes one night <laughs> So I passed it and then I ended up selling it. So yeah, I won't be able to show you that in this video, but just know that I did get that because I am a zombie fanatic. You know, I had to get that game. That game was so good. I can't wait for the second one. They did a, an amazing job. Hopefully that game gets an award, but uh, this shirt I ended up buying $5.95. I thought it was a little pricey because shirts used to be like $2.95 here, but they remodeled the store and the prices went up. So $5.95. I just had to get it. It is a great shirt, as you guys can see there. Mario Kart 1992. I also picked this game up because uh, I was going to trade it into GameStop. So I picked it up to trade it into GameStop. I think I traded it in with the 50% extra that was going on. I also ended up buying this. So I got a major discount, but yeah, guys. So I bought this shirt. It was $6.99. I kind of think I should start going to TJ Maxx more for shirts. Anyways, if the shirt's good enough, I'll pick it up, you know? So I bought these Rick and Morty socks. Had to. I just had to. $2.99, that's a no-brainer. And I also ended up finding this system, which I'll show you more pickups that I did in the recap portion. But anyways, guys, let's get into the pickups. Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So as you guys can see here, this is part of the pickups. I've been doing a lot of trades and I've been doing that to get more games because I am streaming. So I go through games about like once or twice a week, depending on how long or how short they are. So uh, let me get started with the stuff that I picked up at GameStop. The things that I picked up, I think I picked these up first. I don't even remember what I picked up first. So I wanna show you guys this. this was actually $30. This was the Detroit game, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls, which I have passed and completed all of these games already on stream, on Twitch. So there we go. 
and these are still like nice and silky smooth all right so the next game that i have is this which i heard it was a good game so this was between this and the other game i don't know which game was actually the bad game that people said was pretty bad uh this was used i think i was going for the four for ten here or four for twenty i don't really remember anymore I think it was 4 for 20 maybe? Knack, I just hit the camera there. I don't know if you guys saw that. So here it is. The first time that I went, I did end up getting the guarantee or whatever, you know, for if the game scratches or anything. Because sometimes I go to GameStop and they give me freaking copies that are super scratched. Anyways, this is the next game that we got for Honor, which I heard was a very good game. I got Titanfall 2. I heard that was a much better game and also this has single player games so that is pretty cool. Also that day I did end up picking up Days Gone or pre-ordering it that day not actually picking it up. Uh, so I ended up picking up this Super Mario shirt which is a small. I was looking at it and I was like oh no what if I didn't get the small. So I ended up picking up this Super Mario World shirt. They were doing a buy one get one half off. I said buy one get one free when I was at the register and the guy was like it's almost free it's half off but yeah. Anyways, I ended up picking up this and uh, another shirt, but I do not have the other shirt. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I guess you could technically say this was half off or the other shirt was half off. But it was between me picking this or a spiral shirt and I picked this. Because the spiral shirt was black and I kind of have a lot of black shirts as it is. So I decided to go with the gray one instead. I kind of should have picked the spiral one, honestly. So the first game that I picked up, hopefully I'm not moving the camera as well. Because I'm putting the games right beside the camera. Uh, so I picked up Wolfenstein 2. Heard that was a good game. So that's what I picked up. Also, I'm sorry if you hear a dog in the background. Uh, it's uh, outside somewhere and uh, I had to do this video. So uh, just hopefully you guys don't hear it. Next, I picked up Infamous Second Son. I had to read it from behind. So this is the next game that I picked up. It's pretty good, honestly. And I like that you get like this version of... Actually, isn't it the same thing? Yeah, but it doesn't say PlayStation on it. So... It's pretty much the same thing as that. So I got this one as well because I heard Just Cause 3 was a very good game. Now I never played the original Just Cause games. There we go, Just Cause 3. It also does come with, I don't know what that is, like a giveaway or something. So I picked that up. It looks pretty cool from the back. I have not played that. But a game that I picked up and I played was this. And I did play a little bit of it on the Xbox One at one point when it came out but i did not like the ending guys i did not like the ending one bit all right so moving on to the next three games i picked up overcooked as you guys can see there overcooked 2 i've never tried it you guys said i should i think some of you may have said that but I think you also said I should pick up Stardew Valley because you said I thought, I mean, you guys said I would like that. Uh, I have not played this yet. So the next game that I have right here, it is currently in my PS4 because I'm playing it. So it's not in here and of course it doesn't have the menu or anything. But this is the next game I picked up. So far, I like it. I like the whole thing where you can listen to music and you can hear it as well. Like Saints Row has that. Scarface also had that. I really love that Scarface had that too. And this game has that. So that is pretty cool. Uh, it makes me look a little more professional, you know, playing music while playing the game. Uh, so, yeah, I'm currently playing this. I really do love it. I love everything about this game. I love the attention to detail that they put into this game. I love the conversation between the AI characters. I love that they're sometimes crazy. Like, I was running down the street a couple times. I think I've had this happen three times. Two were two guys, and then one was a woman, which I've never seen her do that. And she's a little different than the guys do. But what they do is they take a bat, and they start freaking hitting a car 
and and they start saying stuff i think to their significant others uh the lady was like are you watching are you watching this and she was like smashing the car it was so good guys and i also picked up this all right guys so these are the specials for pro day you buy one you get one 50 off they also had you know sales on the spider-man game sales on red dead redemption i believe and sales on call of duty black ops uh, so they had a lot of specials. I went for the buy one, get one 50% off. Here is more specials that they had. They had the PlayStation mini or whatever it's called on special as well. Uh, so there we go. These are the specials. I'm just showing you guys because I did go on this day and this is what I'm going to show you guys that I picked up. So first off, they had a deal on beanies. They were $5 each. I know the price tag says $14.97, but I didn't pay that price. They had two. They had this one and they had, I believe, like a Sora themed one. So I ended up picking up this one, not the other one. I should have picked up the other one as well, but I picked up this one for $5. Let me know what you guys think about it. I know this was in the picture like when you logged on to the website or on the app this was a picture this was like the face of it saying you know beanies are five dollars all right guys so here is the first game that i picked up these were four for 20 i want to say i don't even know i threw the bag on the floor this is dying light it does also have scratches these scratches are not part of the disc i thought they were but they are actually not it also has scratches up here. So this is the next game that I picked up, Batman, and I forgot I had to change the case for this because it is broken. So it doesn't close right now, and I want to change the case because this cover art might rip. So I picked up Batman Arkham Knight. So the next game that I picked up was Dead Rising, the original Dead Rising, which I said I played a little bit of, but I never really got into it. So I'm going to play it on PS4, and we're going to see how that is. Uh, so I played the fourth one on stream, so I decided to get the first one and the second one. And here's the second one. I absolutely love this. I played it on 360. I played it on PS3, like multiple times on PS3. So here's the next game that I picked up. I know a lot of these games don't have cases. So for whatever games that don't have cases, let me know if you have the case for it, guys, because I'm really looking for it. So yeah, Doom. I heard this was a good game as well. Let me know what you guys think about it. And a game that you guys suggested that I decided to pick up. Up. so i'm gonna do something on my twitch on saturdays i'm gonna do like a stardew saturday kind of night and with that being said you guys know what the game is so stardew valley it says collector's edition uh hopefully everything is in the disc because ooh, oh, i didn't know that so i got a little map right here a mini map and i got a booklet as you guys can see there a mini guidebook so a map and a guidebook. I probably won't use the map because it's probably really small. But it's nice to see that you get that. So I got this. As you guys can see their fingerprints, I know. But it should be good once I wipe it off. So yeah, guys, I'm going to do like a Stardew Valley Saturday going on on Twitch. So yeah, uh, tune in. La follow me on Twitch. The links is down below. So the next game that I picked up is Life is Strange. So the last and final game, like I said, I'm playing scary games on October. So dang it, I'm not even. I'm not even looking forward to October. If, if it takes longer to to get to October, I don't really care. But this is the the next game that I picked up. I picked up the first one, and I didn't know if I had. Um, the s no i picked up the second one and i didn't know if i had the first one so yeah here we go so that was all i picked up at gamestop that is a lot of games guys you guys can count that right now how much games this is but these and don't forget the uh quantum collection which comes with detroit uh beyond two souls and heavy rain so oh actually they're not even in frame so these are the games that i picked up for my ps4 some of these i already played like i told you and like i said i don't know if i said this but i picked up days gone i know you guys saw gameplay as well when i talked about the games that i wanted i loved it absolutely loved that game i know there was a lot of people complaining at first but they did fix a lot of the bugs and stuff that was wrong with it and i absolutely loved that game guys i love zombie games but that game had a good story behind it and i think i played it for about exactly two weeks it took me to finish that game so not only was it a good game 
but it was a long game, a long game, because a lot of these games are very short. I just played Uncharted The Lost Legacy. That game was very short. I passed it in two days, so that game was very short, but I did hear that that was like a DLC add-on or something like that. So this is what I picked up at Goodwill. So I picked this up for $2.99, and I want to show you guys another shirt that I picked up. So this is the shirt that I picked up, Victory 1992, which was before I was born. I was born in 94 guys but I just absolutely love this shirt I have a blue one I think but it has like the trophy for Mario Kart so I picked this up at the thrift store there you go loot wear hey guys so I actually did forget let me show you the last thing that I picked up this was in the thumbnail and I can't believe I forgot it so if you guys don't know who Knight Rider is I will link his YouTube down below you guys can follow him so he told me about this deal going on little PlayStation classic at GameStop I know they were giving it for $39.99 they had that price set but with a cartwheel you got 35% off and then with I had the red card so I got another five extra percent off so it was 20 six dollars and what did i say 80 cents these are all the 20 games that you get in the little playstation classic but yeah i finally got it guys i finally got it so it says usb ac adapter not included what usb ac adapter hmm. i wonder what that's for i don't know what that's for but let me know if you guys have this, if you guys bought it at the original $100 plus tax price. Because, you know, everything is plus tax if you buy at the store. If you buy at the flea market, nothing is plus tax. But everything in the store is plus tax. So, yeah. 100 I wouldn't go for it. $39.99 is still pretty expensive. I wouldn't buy it. Uh, $26.80 was a little expensive. Especially because no Crash, no Spyro. It's a little bit disappointing. Hey guys, so real quick, I just want to show you guys what I picked up two days after I did the pick a portion of the video. And I always do this when I take a picture of the thumbnail to have it ready before. I always seem to find something like a day or two after. So I just want to show you guys what I picked up real quick. So I went to TJ Maxx and Ross that day. I also ended up going to Goodwill. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw my Instagram story that I found a PS3 and it didn't end up working. It didn't come with the PS3 controller. But let me show you guys what I picked up at TJ Maxx first and then Ross and then Goodwill. So I want to show you guys this shirt, which I'll probably be wearing this in the next episode that I'm going to record right after recording this part for the Thrift Trader Shop episode. So I picked up this PlayStation shirt from... Sorry, it's kind of close, but it was from TJ Maxx, as you guys can see here. $6.99, which is not bad. Let me know what you think of this shirt. So after TJ Maxx, I went to Ross, and let me show you what I picked up. It kind of goes with the shirt. When I wear this shirt, you guys ask me, like, oh, is that like a Rick and Morty theme shirt? I never really thought of it like that. I always thought it was like 90s acid type kind of style but yeah i guess you guys think that it is kind of like a rick and morty uh mashup so all right so these are the letters and yeah blue blue and green on the outside except these are i think these are yellow or like a a neon yellow i guess you could say but yeah i never really noticed that those are the colors of rick and morty but i picked up these socks so we got these right here which i'm gonna open these so you can see them but it says compared value so it's two pairs of socks for $2.99 but it says compared value is $8 so I'm gonna open them and then I'll show you guys what both pairs look like all right so I just tore these open and I'm gonna show you guys the first pair which is Rick actually I left a piece of plastic so yeah hopefully they don't rip I know you're not supposed to do that because sometimes you rip it a little more than you should yeah it got a little hole in it if you you guys can see that. I don't think you can, but so this is the pair. It says, Let me out. I don't know what that has to do with Rick and Morty. Rick looks a little weird. It kind of looks like Little Rick, or I don't know what he's called when he's the little kid Rick. What, what, you guys remember what he's called when he's the Little Rick? Is he called Little Rick? So I got this next pair right here, and I think these are a little better. 
So yeah, let me know what you think about these socks. Two ninety nine. I thought that was a great deal. I don't think the compared value. I really don't know where they get this, but I'm pretty sure if you go to Hot Topic and you try and buy those socks, they're gonna run you ten dollars maybe 15 at the most so i want to show you guys what i got so this came with the ps3 it didn't have the price tag on it uh the lady was like i have to make sure that this goes with that because she wasn't really sure and i was like yeah it has all the cords in it and she was like yeah right it should go to it but she had to ask either way so it did go with that and if it didn't go with that i was honestly not gonna buy the ps3 because 29.99 for the ps3 guys so let me show you guys what's in there i'm sorry for the noises but i'm trying to open the bag so this is what came in there there was no game in the ps3 itself uh, I already tested it and I'm gonna ask you guys something that I just felt right now with the ps3 when I show it to you guys uh, Let me know if that's normal or not, but it came with this which I didn't see that I thought it came with an HDMI cable and I had the problem where I connected it with red yellow white this seems to be blue green white reds red there's two reds for some reason i thought it was blue green yellow maybe not all right but it came with this i didn't connect it so i'm guessing once i connect it with this i can switch over to hdmi because i was switching over to hdmi it said do you wanna or there's another like uh av out or something like that or it a, an hdmi has been detected do you want to switch over and i clicked yes and every time i would click yes it said if it took more more than 30 seconds to change then you would probably have to turn your ps3 off and that's what i did so when i turned it off and went to turn it back on it didn't really work it said the same thing and i tried it about five times and nothing really happened so i decided to stop so maybe with this cord because i was using the red yellow white cables so maybe with this cord is the blue white green and red cables i will be able to switch uh fine so anyways i got this which this was the pretty much only reason that i picked up the ps3 because this alone itself trades in for 24 with the elite card which is almost going to expire for me i think in july my card expires and after that i'm not going to get the perks of you know the extra trade-in credit that you get so without the elites card you get 22 with the elite card you get 24 it also came with the playstation i which i already do have i might use this one though because i think my camera usb little connection is a bit rusty so i think i'm gonna use this one so it came with a charger cord which is pretty cool because i think i only have one and that one right now is in my backpack for the rechargeable battery for when i go to the flea market so this will be for that so it also came with the power cord and uh yeah so pretty much oh it's even labeled that's so cute i remember when uh my brother was little my mom she labeled all of the cords for him and i believe our ps2 still has the sticker i mean the tape and the little paper because she put a paper on this side and then she taped it around on the other side so yeah it's, i remember when she did that but this looks like uh maybe it's a label sticker and they just wrote on it so anyways i mean that's good to know i mean who knows how many consoles they had that is organized that is very organized i need to do that myself because sometimes i'm unplugging a cord just to find out what that goes to and then i have to put it back because it's not the right cord and then i have to pull another cord because i i it's it's all over the place with these consoles sometimes i wish everything was wireless and we didn't have to worry about that but you know it's, that that i don't think that will ever happen where we wouldn't need wires for anything all right and i want to show you guys this is the ps3 this is a lot heavier than my super slim the super slim is pretty heavy but this thing is much 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 heavier than my super slim so here is the price $29.99 as is that kind of scared me everything that they supposedly test because i've seen stickers that say tested as is and then it says the price 
and the lady said well this thing has been tested but just in case it doesn't work they gave me 24 hours which is good to know so the next time i buy a console i know i have 24 hours to return it in case it doesn't work i don't think i was gonna return it though if it didn't work because the motion control itself like i said pretty much paid for the whole thing i kind of wish it did come with a ps3 controller but it didn't good thing i have two though and the thing that i wanted to ask you is i just unplugged this and it was a little hot from here from this part right here so the power cord goes over here the av because it was plugged into av i also had the hdmi which was plugged in uh the av was a little no it was the hdmi that was a little warm because it's closer to this side but this side was a little warm it was on standby i don't know if that's normal i don't think my super slim gets warm from the back so that's why i'm trying to tell you guys or ask you guys for that matter if that is normal let me know if you guys think that's normal it's just a little hot but my consoles are all plugged into power strips so i don't think anything you know major will happen to if anything does happen i'm pretty sure the strips will you know protect anything if anything does happen hopefully nothing does happen but yeah like i said uh i'm probably gonna keep this up here and maybe leave it unplugged and plug it in when i need to use it because that's just something that scares me a little bit and guys that is it for everything that i picked up so let's jump into i believe we are on the trades or we're ending this video one or the other but goodbye guys and i'll see you in the next video which will be the flea market video and i'm gonna show you guys the last and final thing that i picked up or actually that i traded for so i'm gonna open this and i'll be right back all right guys so i don't really have what i traded for i don't have a picture of it so uh i traded for this this is how the trade came in he said he was gonna throw in like a psp movie i think he said yeah and that movie is kung fu hustle which i i don't think i've seen this movie before on psp so there we go that was not part of the trade this was though this was part of the trade, a Game Boy Color. I think I traded, if I'm not mistaken, I traded two NES games and a Game Boy Advance game. So yeah, that was what I traded for, as you guys can see there. All right, guys, so I did put batteries in it just to show you guys that it does work. Here we go. There we go. So that is that. And the game inside is like a motorcycle racing game. Yeah, there we go. So I just wanted to show you guys that it does work and there we go. But that was everything that I picked up. I'm honestly happy with everything that I picked up. This video is at 31 minutes. Hopefully I can cut it down a little bit. I know I talk a lot, but let me know what your favorite item was from everything that I picked up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If you wanna follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitch, the links will be down below in the description. Happy hunting. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>